All right, guys, it is almost the middle of October, and we are back at the party place in Canton, Ohio, on Whipple Avenue. I think it's Avenue. It might just be street. And the first thing before we even go in that I am wondering about is this enormous pumpkin right here. I have to wonder just how tall this is, because as you guys know, I recently got the 26 foot inflatable pumpkin in which I inflated in my front yard. I'll bet you anything this one is at least 25, 26 feet tall. This thing is huge, but this one is oblong and mine is just big and round. Regardless, I am super excited to get in here and see what kind of awesome Halloween stuff they have in stock. Look at this, guys. As usual, they have a whole plethora of pumpkins up at the front there. There's some folks waving on their way in. We have the wind dancers over here. We have a skeleton over here, another skeleton over there. And there's one up on the roof that you can just barely see because the wind is blowing him over. You can see him up there trying his best to stand up. Come on, sir, you can do it or not. <laughs> it kind of looks like they've had a run on these pumpkins because there's usually like a whole bunch more. They look pretty cool though and they have some pretty big ones here. They usually have corn stalks too which oh my gosh look they have like one lone corn stalk down there. We got hay bales, white pumpkins, orange pumpkins. Oh here's the prices right here. These are not bad prices for these things. The Hummer is actually in the shop right now or I would be picking up some of these hay bales. All right, let's go ahead in and start our exploring. Oh my gosh, you can already see there's a ginormous archway here. Halloween in here is always awesome. Oh my gosh, look who they have right up front. It's the Carnival Barker. I swear if I would have known they had this guy, or at least if he would have been set up before I made my very own spirit Halloween in my front yard, I would have bought this thing in a second. Carney of Souls, look at this. It's the only one they have. Let's see if we can get him going here. Man, he talks a lot. Let's see if he has something else to say here. Welcome, welcome. Everyone has such nice memories of the carnival. Um, now get ready to watch this next act. It'll give you some memories you'll never forget. <laughs> Ever see anyone get sawed in half before? Then prepare to get shivers and down your spine. I'm trying to get a good look at his face and his eyes as he talks here, but his head turns so far to that side. Let's do it one more time. Here hurry, we go. Hurry. Our main show is about to begin. Bring the kids. Bring grandma. Bring the whole family. They'll eat anybody. <laughs> Feeling a little lightheaded? Grab a refreshment as a snack it. I know that the E. coli outbreak was a vicious rumor. So grab a <laughs> All right, Carnival Barker. We got some good shots that time. Look at this, guys. The whole place is stocked and decked out. Oh my gosh, we got so many animatronics standing over on this side here. We're going to check those out in just a minute. Upstairs, they have tons of costumes. We're probably going to go up there and take a little look, but I really want to see just all the stuff that they have on the floor here. They always have a bunch of stuff here that you really can't find other places. Oh my gosh, I love this archway over here. We're going to check that out too. In fact, all right, let's just come on over here to this side. This is normal, just fall stuff here, but we're going to check this out too. Oh my gosh, I got Michael Myers too. I knew I recognized that sound. So I actually have this one, but he's slightly different. Like mine, the eyes inside are painted completely black, even though it appears to be the same mask. 
and the same sounds. Okay, yeah, so this stuff we're just gonna look at real quick here, because this is all just fall stuff, and as you know, fall and Halloween go hand in hand. Look at this. They have a whole bag of fake apples if you wanted to make a fake bobbing for apples thing. These are all fall decorations down through here, at least until you get to this guy. What the heck? $79.99. I go up to nine feet tall. I don't know I don't think he's an animatronic. I don't see any kind of a sensor or a foot pad, but apparently it's just something that if you want him to be taller, you can adjust something in there and lift him up higher. Oh my gosh, look down at the end of the hall here. I can't wait to get down there. Let's back up though and start right here. We have some Nightmare Before Christmas stuff and look at how cool this is right here. Nightmare Before Christmas, Jack Skellington light up yard steak. Okay, the try me button is on the right side here. Look at that, yeah. That is pretty dang cool. And it's got a little fold down thing here that you fold down and stick into your yard. That is really cool. We got the hanging zeros here. We have the hanging oogie boogie. Jack Skellington pumpkin guy. Regular Jack Skellington. Let's turn your head a little bit. And then we have Sally here. And it looks like all this stuff here is all uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. Check this out, if you're having a party, they got plates, napkins, cups down here, table covers on the bottom there. Jack Skellington light up pumpkins, these are pretty cool. Of course we have standing Sally and Jack Skellington. A smaller Jack Skellington and Sally here. I really love these right here, these lanterns. These are really cool. They're a lot smaller than I expected them to be, but you hang those from your ceiling. I suppose you could hang those from the trees outside too, but if it rains, they'll get wet. But those are totally awesome. Different yard decorations here. We got a backdrop here if you wanna take pictures around that if you're having a party hanging ceiling decorations, jointed cutout, that's pretty cool, window clings. We got the scene setters here, which is, again, a thing where it's like a uh, picture-taking opportunity. Set it up in your house. We got some cutouts right here. Nightmare Before Christmas balloons. These are really cool. We got some more hanging things here, another zero, a giant oogie boogie a bigger Sally, a bigger Jack Skellington here. Look at this, we got the Beetlejuice yard decor right there. We have, oh, Rocky Horror Picture Show, okay. Couple of things there. These are more scene setters and cutouts and window clings here. We got Michael Myers and Chucky and Pennywise. We got some awesome cups over here, some tumblers. The Conjuring. We got Pennywise here. Chucky and Michael Myers killing it since 1963. And look at this giant skull archway here. This is so cool. It's purple. We got two bones, one on each side. Then we have a skull up here. And look at these teeth. I love the teeth. That is hilarious. Let's just walk through this a second. Look how cool that is as you walk through. And then coming back through, it's like you're coming out of the skeleton's mouth. This whole wall here is all party decor. We got bowls and cups. We have some more jack-o'-lantern uh, paper lanterns down here. Those are cool. Those appear to be bigger ones. We're going to look at those in a second. We have more window clings up here and backgrounds. Yeah, these, I think... Yeah, those are much bigger than the other ones we were looking at. Those are awesome. $9.99 for three of those. Lots of traditional party decor here. The cups, the plates. Look at this. We got a cat, a jack-o'-lantern, a ghost, and bats. Here's some more lanterns. I bet these are ghosts. There's no picture to let you know what they look like, but that's got to be ghosts on there. And they pretty much have everything color-coded here. Like, this is all the white and orange stuff here. Then it gets darker down here. We got all the black things down here. Spooky gauze here. More gauze over here. Ceiling decorations. Those are a bunch of bats that hang from the ceiling. Spooky stuff to hang on the walls. This is all totally awesome. Here's some more lanterns. They're white with bats. Those are cool. I like this. It's a skull bowl. That's a pretty 
big bowl. You could use that for popcorn or candy. That's only $7.99. That's pretty awesome. And then you got the skull-shaped drink container. Fill that up with whatever drink you want. You could put red Kool-Aid in there. It would be like blood. And then you pull this to get it in your cup. Look at this. We got the Slender Man going crazy over here behind me, making all kinds of noise. Oh, look. They have the groundbreaking skeleton. I don't remember what this guy's name is. $249 for that. He is huge. We got the skeleton here. I would guess he's about 10 feet tall. $299. It says I light up. He's pretty cool. Then we have some regular sized skeletons over here. Let's do the try me. Does he light up or something? Yeah. Ooh, with spooky sounds too. <laughs> I love how his eyes change colors. That is very cool. And of course over here we have more wall decorations and party decor. Anything you might need to decorate for your awesome Halloween party. Look at this, we got a giant skull here with lights in his eyes. That's pretty cool. We're gonna come back and take a look at what's over here in just a second. On this end cap here we have all the creepy bugs. Oh my gosh, look at this thing. I'm never gonna sleep again after seeing that. Spiders and roaches and snakes and centipedes. We got body parts here on the end. Look at this, a severed leg. We have severed hands and feet here. We got some on chains. What is this, chop shop decoration? We got more severed hands over here and eyeballs and haunt blood. Look at this, it's an entire, what is that, a gallon? It's an entire gallon of haunt blood. And I just ran into these two friends, Anthony and Adeline here. And they're just gonna join me a little bit as we look around at more and more and more of the spooky stuff here. All this stuff up here is like the bloody decor. Check it out, we have like bloody hands over here. I think a bloody, yeah, this is like a backdrop. I thought it was a shower curtain because I think they actually have a bloody shower curtain. Yeah, that's it right there. Killer shower curtain. Look at that. It looks like there's a killer like Jason inside the shower. Oh, yeah, there's a different one here. It says, help me. How cool is that? What is it? Oh, yeah, check this out. Vampire blood. This is 128 fluid ounces. Man, they got a ton of blood in here. Smaller containers if you just wanted a little bit. Bloody party decor here. We got tablecloths over here. I think that's what that is. Yeah, bloody tablecloth. What is that? Enter at your own risk, it says. That's cool. We got plates and napkins and cups here with blood. Pain in the axe. What the heck? Bloody handprints up here. All right, let's come on back here and check out these animatronic type things back here. Because first of all, look at this guy. You guys, stand up there. Let me show how huge he is. Compared to these guys, look how enormous that skeleton is. That is so cool. Oh, and his eyes light up and flash too. Oh my gosh, how awesome is that? That is very cool. And then if we look behind him, you guys can see every year we look at these. They set up the same thing and they're not for sale. Not this one, but the band back there. We got the skeleton band. We got like this guy playing the guitar and the bass and the drums over here. We got another drummer back here and another guitar player. And look at this stuff down here. We got the six foot reaper with staff here. And then we got the seven foot titan skeleton over here. They actually have two of these in stock. Wow, 139, that's not bad for that guy. That's him right there. He is actually pretty dang big. We got the regular five foot skeletons here. The hanging demon, you can go back to heck, sir. We got all kinds of bags of bones here. Wait a minute, do these glow? I, mean, I don't know, I can't tell. I, it looks like they glow, but I don't think they do because it doesn't say that they glow. All right, let's see what we got in this aisle here. We got the Hag Witch, the standing animated witch here. Look at the face on that guy. How do you get her to animate? I wonder if she's even like hooked up. I don't see a step pad or anything. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Do it one more time. Is it a sensor or a button or what? Yeah. Oh yeah, there we go. Let me show you the true face of Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> you would have to be like very small 
for her to be looking at you because she bends way down and she's looking way down. Oh, we got the jumping spiders over here. And what is this guy here? It's a trimy. Okay, flashing eyes, zombie skeleton guy. Enter if you dare. We got all kinds of gates and cemetery fences and stuff. Oh, this is totally cool right here. Check this out. Freddy Krueger headstone here. May you rot in heck. <laughs> Look at that. That's cool. You'd have to find a way to anchor that in so it wouldn't blow over if you had it in your front yard, but that is totally awesome. This over here, yeah, they have this every year. We got the Grave Breaker pumpkins here. This is awesome right here. Check this out. The Grave Breaker ghost face, the climbing witch, the climbing spider over there. We got floating spiders here. I don't know if I've seen those before. A little grave breaker skull right here. Look at this giant snakes down here. <laughs> we got the cocooned corpse up here, the spider cocoon victim. Oh, that one's got a skull in it. We got the swinging dead here. I wonder if you actually get both of them. Contents, two hooks, one figure on the swing. So it looks like you either get the pumpkin guy or the skeleton guy. Then we got the uh, pumpkin popper guys here. You guys want to hit a button on there? Yeah, here we go. What? Try the one on the bottom. <laughs> There's got to be another button somewhere. Oh, there we go. He's more like a pump pumpkin zombie guy than like a pumpkin popper. I bet these are the pumpkin poppers. I expected this guy to jump up. See if we can get one of those to work. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Very cool. Look, he flashes on the inside too. I knew one of these would do that. So cool. And we got this guy on the top. I'm not even sure what that is. Some kind of a spooky mummy guy. Okay, he's got a button, but apparently he's not working. He probably does the same thing though as these. I would assume he jumps. We got chains of death over here. We got the pop-up coffins. What is this? Bloody body bag. That is sick. Yeah. We got the collapsible coffin here. We got some step pads here. Crime scene kit. Oh yeah, see if that'll work. Is there a button? Eh, bummer. We got the witch's cauldrons here. Look at this. We have giant furry spiders over here. All right, let's come over here for a minute. Oh, check this out. We got the little zombie baby here. We have we have little zombie baby parts, heads on a string. We got these trick or treat things. And look at this giant hanging ghost up here. That guy is huge. He's got a try me button too, but who can reach that? Nobody. Oh, this is the big pumpkin archway here that we were talking about when we first came in. So let's go ahead and walk through here and see how it looks. That is awesome and huge. Look at this. Look how many pumpkins come all the way down to the ground. They go up and over the great pumpkin on top and then more on this side. And we got the wall of bones over here. Look at this, we have so many skulls all along the bottom here. Different shapes, different sizes, different colors. Look at this, we got alligator uh, skeletons up here and, and spider skeletons, I can't even say it. What the heck is this? It's a two-headed bat. This looks like, I probably say this every single year when I see this, but this looks like the Halloween 2 pumpkin if you painted it orange. I like this one over here, this skull with the, his, oh, I thought they were googly eyes. They are googly and they are eyes, but they're not googly eyes. Eyes. Of course, we have the dog bones down here. We have little, oh my gosh, what is this? This is like a vampire bone, and this one's like a Frankenstein bone. We got the donkey bone, the teddy bear bones, the bigger bones. This guy is big boned. <laughs> Large light up skull. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, his eyes light up red. Very cool. This is what I'm talking about. They got so much stuff you don't see other places. Zombie flamingos up here. Look at that, that's cool. We got a giant bat over there, different sizes and shapes of bats. All right, let's make our way back down here because we missed this whole side over here. Loomy Holidays, this is the big inflatable archway we were just looking at here. 
249 that thing is absolutely enormous fog machines here with fog juice we got more uh, pumpkins and cauldrons here these pumpkins are pretty cool these light up on the inside all kinds of different light up things here and look at this I love these these pumpkin string lights these are so cool do they only have one box oh my gosh I wish they had more than just one box I'm gonna keep my eyes open and see if I can find more of these because I have my tent set up in the backyard right now and I would love to have a whole bunch of those around the tent do like a spooky tent video check this out too ghost face lights Oh, okay. Well, I mean, they're still awesome, but I thought they were more 3D kind of like those. They're totally cool, though. Yeah, look at that. Those light up little ghost faces. LED spider webs here, and then we have all this stuff for pumpkin carving here. I actually have a brand new pumpkin carving glove. I think it's even called the pumpkin carving glove. And it's basically a glove that has a scoop built into it. It's supposed to be much better than any of this stuff. We got some more cauldrons and pumpkin buckets here on this end. And it looks like these down here light up. It's a light up bucket. All right, let's check this out. Is it just the handle that lights up? Ooh, yeah. Yeah, it flashes. That's cool. We got a Pennywise inflatable here. We got a spooky tree here, and apparently this is... Maybe it's an animatronic. Let's see. Well, the eyes light up. I kind of expected it was going to move around a little bit, but the eyes do light up. And I love how they have the stuff hanging around on the ceilings. We haven't been down this way yet, so let's go on down here. We got some awesome inflatables here. Let's start out with this guy right here. This is some kind of a zombie or something. Animated shivers and shakes. I believe I may have had him at one time. He inflates to six feet tall, and just like it says, he actually like shivers and shakes. Here's that giant skeleton archway. That's really cool. Here's a big spider archway. That's pretty awesome too. That's 11 feet tall. Inflatable ghost with blue lights. Here's the giant pumpkin king archway. We got some inflatable ghost faces here coming out of pumpkins. This is cool. Air blown inflatable creepy jack-o-lantern. That's pretty awesome. He's seven and a half feet tall. And then we have this one here that is six feet tall and has three ghosts coming out of a jack-o-lantern and the short circuit female phantom i think this one's kind of like the other one up there where it like shivers and shakes and the lights inside makes it look like a short circuit i love how looking down here you see the whole spooky setup down there with that giant skeleton and the flashing eyes we got some halloween pinatas here and then some plushies over here these are all party favors here we got some look at these beanies over here this one is a ghost oh and it lights up that's cool we got a pumpkin here that oh that one's not working but it lights up yeah check that out that's pretty cool i ought to get one of those and then we have the candy corn here and i believe this one lights up too yeah look at that very cool sacks for your potato sack races look at this all kinds of different games here we got the inflatable witch hat ring toss we got a pin the eyeball on the zombie game ribbons here for the best costumes funniest cutest couple and look at this the golden skeleton award here he's holding his head in his hands whoops okay the bottom of that tube just opened right up and he fell out but he did not break he just slides right into the base there best costume and you can get a better look at it here anyway it's a golden skeleton holding his head that is awesome man i love halloween check this out we got the little loot bags here black cats pumpkins spiders look at that i love that kind of art we got the treat buckets here more treat buckets that look like little pumpkins all kinds of baking and party supplies here this stuff is so cool we got the bloody candy eyeballs here cookie cutters a brain no that's not a brain that's a heart gelatin mold this one is the brain gelatin mold and giant googly eyes and this side of the aisle over here is all party favors little toys and things oh my gosh look at this you guys know i have rubber ducks in my hot tub this is halloween rubber ducks look at the duck that's like a skeleton and this one is orange like a pumpkin and then we have a vampire duck up here oh my gosh that is cool there's 16 in each of those bags halloween squishy balls here look we got a black cat we got the pumpkin we got the skulls wish you could see the skulls better oh there's one right there 
very cool oh my gosh they got spider rings and stickers and all kinds of things down here and then this is like all bulk stuff that you can buy look at this imagine buying an entire bag of spider rings if you were having a ginormous party slime with body parts here that's pretty cool it looks like there's eyeballs in there tons of vampire teeth down here on the bottom all this stuff is anything you could need to make your party better. There's even more pinatas all along the top here. We still have a ton of stuff to look at down through here. And look at this, we have these inflatables up on the top here. We'll go down there in just a minute, but let's go ahead. I have kept you guys waiting. Let's check out the animatronics here. We got the inflatable ghost archway down here with these two other ghosty guys here. And I believe that these are animatronics. Oh yeah, here they go. <laughs> <laughs> that scared the living crap out of me. So that's all they do, I guess, just sit there and rock their heads back and forth. But that's enough. Man, that just made me jump a mile. We got the Granny Butler over here. Look at this. It looks like she should be bringing us a grilled cheese on the platter. And look who we have right here, guys. The Catacomb creature he is so cool 359 he's the last one and he does have a step pad look at you that shall know me for the billowing cloud of plague in my wake for i am pestilence incarnate approach and seal your doom he is so awesome. All right, most of these I don't remember their names, but I know I've seen them before. Oh, this one is totally awesome too. I think they had him in here last year. Let's go ahead and get him going. Oh, please, come on. Come on, oh, here he goes. Easy, little guy. I've run out of victims, but you will have to wait for your meal. Patience, my little one. I'll feed you soon enough. Just as soon as someone turns their back on me. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky for us, there seems to be a lot of visitors wandering closer. <laughs> That is so cool. I love how they individually talk. Then we got this fellow. I remember looking all these up before to see exactly what they were called. Let's go ahead and get him going. Ah, visitors. I have been waiting for you for a very long time. Your life must not be very important to you. So very cool. I love how big the mouth is and how it moves with every single thing that he says, or maybe it's a she, I don't know. <laughs> we got this guy here. All right, let's go ahead and get him going. You won't be long now before the dead rise from these graves all around us. Some need a little undigging to get them out, while others will just grab your ankle to help pull themselves out. In no time, we'll have an army of dead here, ready to do some party crashing. I hope you like a packed house. <laughs> All of these talk so long. Like most animatronics just say a little bit of something, but these guys all just keep going and going and going. Let's do him one more time here. This is a special graveyard. On Halloween night, the very bodies here rise up one store. I like to give them a little hand with my shovel. Now you've never clawed your way out of the earth before, have you? Well, maybe tonight will be your lucky night. <laughs> 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 That's hilarious. All right, we got a couple of witches over here. I can already tell you, I love this one over here, putting the kid in the pot. But let's go ahead and get her going first. Come on now, here we go. Well, hello. You don't have to have some candy for a sweet little old lady, do you? Look at her eyes. Get it to me! 
<laughs> That's awesome. She lunges. I wonder if her eyes are supposed to be like that, where they're all googly. All right, let's do this one over here because this is one of my favorites. I absolutely love the animatronics where they have a kid that is screaming. All right, let's get her going. She is totally awesome. All right, we already saw Michael Myers, but let's go ahead and do this enormous guy right here. He is pretty dang spooky looking. Here we go. <laughs> Welcome to the afterlife. Yes. Beware all ye who enter here. He takes forever between his little phrases. All right, let's head back down through this way here where we can see the flashing eyes of this Skella guy. I love this guy. He's absolutely enormous. I think he's the only one that I've seen that actually has like the Reaper costume on. Oh, we almost missed these creepy fellows over here. What the heck, man? These things are scary enough as it is. They're right under the cemetery sign. We've got this whole section over here to go and these things over here. This is a big hanging Scala guy with a button. The eyes light up, he's cool. We got a couple other skeletons here, like full-size skeletons. Oh, these are the seven-foot titans here. These must be the five-foot ones in these boxes. Here's more five-foot skeletons over here. Cardboard cutouts up here. These are pretty cool. We got Pennywise, Michael Myers, Freddy Krueger, Chucky, and Jason up there. Those are pretty cool. That would be cool for a movie room. We got the ghostly groups here. These are the ones that you set them up in your front yard, and it looks like a circle of ghosts conjuring. We got some more hanging guys up here. Whoa, look at this. We actually have a Texas Chainsaw Massacre animatronic. This is by Jemmy. What the heck? Wow. I don't know if I've seen this one. It kind of looks like the one they had for sale at Spirit last year, but I don't think it is. We got more hanging guys here, skeletons, or whatever this guy is called. Look at that disgusting hair, sick. And then we got this alien guy here. He looks like Extro. More hanging skeletons over here, more hanging whatchamacallits over here, more hanging whatchamacallits over here, body parts over here. Most of the stuff on all these racks down throughout here are all hanging things. We got the life-size groundbreaking skeleton here that almost looks like a skeleton spider. Hanging spooky teddy bear here. We got some witches. Whoa, button. Oh, look. <laughs> what the heck? She's a kicking witch with one blinking eye. That is hilarious hanging clowns over here and look at this one of them is actually a hanging pennywise look at the hands look at those clobbers those are some giant hands compared to the size of his head hanging witches and skeleton over here trick-or-treat bags over here different kinds spider webs freaky fabric we got some giant bats up here and they have so many cauldrons throughout this store like so many different sizes of cauldrons we got this awesome multicolored spooky inflatable up here with three ghosts. I love that. I love those classic Halloween colors on there. Orange, purple, green, white. We got this giant inflatable pumpkin up here. I think we saw that in a box on the other side of the store. Here's the leather face animatronic over here. Does he have... he might be on a sensor if I can find a sensor. He's definitely not the one that was at uh, Spirit Halloween. Totally different. Where the heck is a sensor? He's gonna scare the crap out of me if I find that sensor. Oh, right here, there's a try me button. Here we go. That is pretty cool. Yeah, that is definitely not the same one from Spirit. 
Pretty good sounds though too. All right, and I had to come over here to show you the other two inflatables. We have the ghost face coming out of the pumpkin and then the one over here with the uh, three ghosts coming out of a pumpkin. Oh, and we missed this over here. I see this in here every year. Hoodoo heads, it says. And it's like a witch or something, some kind of a voodoo thing that holds a bowl and you just put the candy in it. So that is everything on the floor down here. Now we're gonna work our way upstairs and check out some of the costumes and stuff. We're probably not gonna spend a whole ton of time up here because, I mean, literally, you could just spend hours and hours going through all this stuff. But let's just take a walk through and look at this stuff. We got blood effects over here. Whoa, look at this. These are tattoos, fake tattoos. We got Michael Myers, Michael Myers' knife, the Terrifier. What the heck? Look at this. We got Chucky, Frankenstein, more Chucky. Oh my gosh, these are awesome. Universal Monsters, Bella Lugosi. I don't know if that's right. These are $4.99. I've never seen these anywhere before. Find Tinsley transfers on YouTube, huh? Okay. Oh my gosh, those are all awesome. I'm definitely gonna have to look them up. In fact, I think I am gonna get a couple of these and we will put them on. I'm gonna get one of these. Oh my gosh, look, look what it just uncovered. How cool is that? Chucky on an ax. Oh my gosh, these are all so cool. All right, as much as I love all of these, we're gonna go ahead and go with uh, Frankie here. And let's go ahead and get Mr. Bella Lugosi here. <laughs> all right, I can't help it. I also have to get this Michael Myers knife right here. All right, let's make our way around. We got all these boas right here. We got all kinds of things over here, accessories for costumes. Down this way, there's even more tattoos. Look at all this stuff. That is so awesome. And then down this way, we got all the blood. We got different kinds of scars and things over here. All this makeup here, I can smell this stuff literally. Like if you wanted to dress up in the 80s, this was the kind of stuff to have right here. Like this is exactly the kind of thing that you would see in all the drugstores and stuff. Blue cream makeup, and you'd be looking at those pictures going, yeah, I'm gonna do that. And then you'd try it and it would turn out nothing like that. We got this guy that I point out every year, and I believe that at one point he was actually sold at Spirit Halloween, but I am not positive about that. Let me know if you know. These are all dog costumes here. Look at this. We have the UPS pal. That's hilarious. We have a Puppasaurus Rex, an action hero, even SpongeBob SquarePants. Whole bunch of Halloween masks here. Oh my gosh, look at that. We got Pennywise masks over here. Man, they've got a ton of them. The newer one and the older one. We got Sam and Chucky and Freddy Krueger and Jason and Voorhees. Whole bunch of ghost face masks here, including this scorched face. Oh, look at this. This is cool. We got the corpse bride here, both Emily and Victor. Tons of wigs all around the walls. These are all different shapes and sizes and colors of wings, butterfly wings, bumblebee wings, angel wings, and devil wings. And all these aisles all the way up to here are all costumes. And a lot of these costumes are ones that have been around for a while that you're not going to find at other places. Look at this Queen Bee costume. That's hilarious. The Jetsons. Yes, look at this Carrie. I've seen this in here a couple times. This always reminds me of the David's TV twins. Man, there are just so many. And I believe I have a video up on one of my Halloween channels where I just went down every single row of these looking at so many different costumes. Look at this one. <laughs> That's awesome. Mother Superior. Look, we got She-Ra up here. Chucky and Tiffany. Whoa, for a minute I thought this was the 25th anniversary one right here for $27.99. No, look at this. This is called Thank You Father. That is so wrong. Look at this Donkey Kong costume. That is hilarious. The wild waving tube guy like the one on top of the building out front. Both the new and the old Pennywise. Look, we got Annabelle Creation, Friday the 13th, 
Nightmare on Elm Street, Inflatable Sumo Wrestlers, and look at this one, it's called Circus Hack, Inflatable Wiener Mobile, and one of my favorites, the Inflatable Kool-Aid Man. Oh my gosh, here we go, this is what I'm talking about right here, look, we got a cheeseburger, a bacon slice, we got a hot dog, we got an ice cold Coca-Cola, pizza, tortillas, and then they gotta toss in a pickle in there, what the heck? Here's another Kool-Aid Man, that one's not inflatable though, and then we got the whoop cushion kids costumes here look at all these that we have right here hatchimals fruity licious coco melon peppa pig shopkins even the smurfs down here on the end we got all kinds of weapons look at this we even have bling weapons over here oh my gosh the bling ghost face knife this kind of stuff doesn't make sense to me though the bling ghost face cleaver look at this the freddy fright glove this literally looks like something that you would have bought way back when the movie actually came out tons of different hats Hats and helmets all around this wall. We got the Skelebones down here, Minions, Lego, Super Mario. We even have Yo Gabba Gabba up here. Costumes upon costumes upon costumes. Oh, and look at these. We have a pink gorilla suit here, and then we have a black gorilla suit, and an eagle and a chicken. Look, this one's called Die Laughing. It's a clown costume that has a giant clown head. All right, that about ties it up for this store, guys. We have definitely not seen everything they have to offer, but I am gonna get some of these tattoos here. It's always awesome coming down from being upstairs and seeing all the Halloween stuff down here. 